Hi guys, it's Jackie here at The Woods Yoga. Um, I will be teaching a shut up and breathe style class. If you haven't taken that here at The Woods yet, you definitely should once we're open in our new space. Um, but in the meantime, let's just come into um, a gentle practice here. We'll start on our backs. And this practice will be about just slowing down and settling the mind, finding the power in your breath, the power that you have in just being able to come back to your breath and use that to settle the mind, settle the body. So as you're here on your back, step your feet apart wide, like I've stepped mine, and let your knees drop into touch. And then you can let your palms face up, let your shoulders roll back. Take a deep breath in and just exhale it out. And we'll spend a few moments here just grounding and becoming familiar with what we're feeling. Really take some time to just go inward. Feel the earth underneath you, under the soles of your feet, your pelvis, your back, the back of your skull. And then go more inward, feeling what you're feeling inside. Whatever that is, acknowledge it. It's always nice to start any practice by just checking in with what you're feeling in your mind, your body, and in your heart. Now you can bring your hands to your little belly. And then just start to become more deliberate with your breath, inhaling, expanding, and then exhaling, feeling that grounding sensation as the belly lowers. Okay, just keep breathing in and out. And one more inhale. Nice, long, controlled exhale. And then open your knees wide as you bring the soles of your feet together. You can bring your hands to cradle underneath your hips or if you have blocks available for a little support if that sensation is really intense, but if it feels okay, take your arms overhead, maybe take opposite elbows, and continue to develop that breath. Inhaling, feeling the length through the sides of the body. Exhale. Acknowledge the sensation starting to build in the hips here. And see if you can just soften any resistance to that by tuning into the breath. Okay, we can step the feet onto the mat, bring the knees together, and then give your knees a hug into your chest. Hugging in, maybe finding a little rock side to side. <clears throat> Notice if your tail is lifting up at all. See if you can press that down, really getting grounded through the spine. Soften the shoulders down. 
Soften the muscles in your face. Continue swaying if that feels good or just come to stillness. And continue to connect with your breath, paying attention to the sensation as you inhale, as it fills into your belly, expanding against the tops of the thighs here. And then as you exhale, feeling that contraction. Good. Grab the backs of your hamstrings. And then just find a little rock and roll up and down the length of your spine. Feel free to take as many as you'd like. Get messy with it if you like. And then as you feel complete there, just make your way up to your seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Remove any flesh from under your seat. Then bring your fingertips by your sides. Just press into the earth to find that lift of the chest, that length through the spine. You can bring your hands to your knees. The eyes can close or you can just soften your gaze a little bit. Loop the shoulders forward and up and around, back, feeling the shoulder blades slide down. And then shift your weight back, shift your weight into your sit bones. Visualize rooting through your tailbone. And then with each breath, growing taller through your spine, pulling your head in line with your spine, tucking the chin slightly. And then just visualize yourself growing through growing taller through the top of your head with each breath in. Exhaling, grounding. And then let's start to sync breath with movement. So with your inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, flip your palms to face down as you find some resistance through the air, taking the arms all the way down. And then inhale, sweep back up. Maybe you look up towards your hands. Palms might come together. And then exhale, pressing the air away down. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale. Good. Again, we'll stretch the arms up overhead. Get length through the sides. Lift up out of your hips. And then with your exhale, take a twist to your right. So I'm going to take my fingertips, my right fingers, right to the ground behind me to assist in lengthening the spine and sitting up tall. And then the left hand comes to the right thigh for a little leverage as I twist my torso. And again, come back to the breath. Feel the breath. Feel the expansion. Notice the space you find with each exhale, maybe finding a little bit of a deeper twist, looking over your back shoulder. Take one more breath in. Stay for the exhale. And then with an inhale, come back to center, stretch the arms up overhead. And then with your exhale, take that twist to the left. So left fingers pressing the earth away. Use that assist. Find some leverage as you twist. Really feeling that opening through the chest. Soften the shoulder down, soften the face. Find some ease here. Good. One more breath in. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Stretch the arms up overhead. And then with an exhale, just take a gentle fold forward here. You can come right onto your forearms. You can stretch it out, walking the hands out. Pausing here, again, just observing the breath, always coming back to that connection, the observation. That's what keeps us grounded through the practice and through life. Walk your hands back in. Come on back up to your seat. I'll face you guys again. And then we'll just take some lateral side bends. And again, just rolling your shoulders back. Find that nice alignment, nice tall seat. Sweep the arms up overhead. With your exhale, drop your right hand. Reach up and over with your left arm. 
extend into that right elbow and then pull that left shoulder back. Notice if it's rounding, see if you can pull it back and then look up towards your elbow or your forearm. One more inhale, reach through those left fingers, and then exhale. Then come back up to center, stretch up. Exhale, lower the left hand, reaching up and over with that right arm. So still sit that right hip down. Want to find that stretch through the side body here. And then again, pull that shoulder back, look up. And then soften into the stretch, really active through those right fingers, keep reaching. Exhale, inhale, come back up to center. We'll do one more time. Each side, drop the right hand, reach up and over with that left arm. And then inhale back to center, over to your left, right arm reaching. Okay, come back up to center, drop your hands on your knees, and we'll take some seated cat and cow. So with an inhale, pull your heart forward as you draw your elbows into your torso, reach the heart forward, lifting the chin. And then as you exhale, round, tuck your chin, hollow out the belly. Inhale, reach the heart forward, and then exhale. Good, keep moving. Two more in, feel that length of the torso. Exhale. Do it again, one more. And really round it out, hollow out the belly. Good, come back up to your seat. Take the arms overhead again, and then just take that gentle fold, forward fold, hinging the hips forward. To whatever extent you like, you can lower all the way down if that's accessible or just find a place where it feels good to just pause and breathe. Good, from here, plant your hands, pull yourself forward, coming into a table, come on to all fours. Set yourself up so your hips are right over your knees and your shoulders right over your wrists. Release the tops of your feet or you can keep the toes tucked. You want to draw the navel to the spine and really spread your fingers wide. Press the earth away. With an inhale, cat and cow again. Inhaling, reaching the heart forward. Cow pose. And then as you exhale, round, hollow out. Let the head be heavy. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And let it go. Just keep moving with your breath. Don't worry about syncing up with me or anyone else you may be practicing with at home. I want to just keep, keep true to the length of that inhale and exhale. So however long that takes you to reach your heart forward, honor that. And then however long it takes you to release that breath entirely. Okay, take two more cycles. One more. Round it out, get empty. Good, and then just come back to your neutral table. From here, we'll come into puppy pose. So walking your hands out. You wanna keep your hips right over the knees. So different from child's pose. Child's pose, we sit back for puppy pose. Try to keep the hips lifted here. Keep your arms straight, and then as you walk them out, Lower your chest down towards the earth. So you can take this in phases. You don't have to just try to force yourself right down. Really listen to your body. This is where the breath really comes in. Finding that space. That's what the breath is all about. Giving you that mind and body connection so that you can really listen to what you're feeling, tune into that, and then respond appropriately.
Good. Take another breath in here. Exhale, find some opening through the back body, some softness. Good, and then start to walk your hands back in. And we'll tuck the toes here. And then we're going to press up and back into a downward facing dog. So making that upside down V with the body really soft. And with your exhale, press the heels down towards the earth. They might not touch. Relax the head, relax the neck. Lift up out of your shoulders. Just feel everything engaged here. Take another big breath in. And then as you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Coming into a rag doll. So you can step the feet about hips width apart, or you can have your feet together. And you just want to drop in here, grab opposite elbows, and really rooting into the soles of your feet. Find a little sway from side to side, a little freedom through the upper body. Visualize the vertebrae opening up, separating as you allow yourself to just be heavy here. And release your hands right down to the earth. And then with an inhale, come into a halfway lift. Nice flat back. Your hands can be on your shins or blocks or on the earth. Reach the heart forward. And then exhale, fold. When you come into your fold, really surrender. Soften the shoulders. Relax the head. With an inhale, roll yourself up to stand. Rooting through the feet. Engage the pelvis as you come up, and then sweep your arms up overhead. Stretch up, look up, and then bring your hands to your heart. Do it again. Inhale, reach up. And then with your exhale, take a forward fold coming all the way down. Put a soft bend in your knees if that feels good. And again, find that surrender. Soften the shoulders. Relax the head. Shake the head yes and no. Inhale, come back into that flat back. Nice long spine. And then exhale, fold. Inhale to rise up, sweeping the arms all the way up overhead. Bringing your hands to your heart, pausing here. Feel the earth underneath your feet. Feel the engagement through your body. Take another breath in and exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms back up overhead. Look up this time and then exhale forward, fold all the way back down. And come back into your table. So I'm just going to turn around here. And again, set yourself up, spread the fingers wide, press. Underneath your hands, really feel that engagement. Good. And then step the right toes to the back of the mat. Just rocking on the ball of the foot. Shift your weight back and forth. Getting in a little wrist massage. Notice if your belly is still engaged here. See if you can find that activation through the core muscles. And then lift your right toes. Press through the heel as you extend your left arm out in front of you, keeping that spine nice and long. So think of your spine as one long line from the tailbone through the crown of your head. So your gaze is down. The top of your head is reaching to in front of you. Reach through the fingers, press through that heel with an inhale. Find a little bit of a lift in the chest. Again, finding that 
essence of cow. And then as you exhale, squeeze your knee and elbow together. Cat. Inhale to extend it. And then exhale. Again, inhale. One more time, just squeeze it out. And extend long. Good. Take your left hand down. Keep that right leg long. And then just spin on your left knee, coming into a supported side plank. So then reaching that right arm right up to the sky. Good. Observe your breath. Exhale. Can you take another breath in? And then with your exhale, come back into your table. And take a little movement here, maybe another cat and cow if you like. Reaching the heart forward and then rounding out the spine. Good, come back to table. And then step your left toes to the back of the mat. So pressing away underneath the hands, core is engaged. And then just finding some opening through the back of that leg. Good, lift your left toes, press through the heel, and extend your right arm. Breathe in, find the length, reach. And then as you exhale, round, bringing the knee and elbow together. Again, inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Good, one more. Squeeze out that breath. Lengthen. And then taking the right hand down, spinning on the right knee, peel the left side of your body open for the supported side plank, looking up towards your left fingers. Take a big breath in. Exhale. One more breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your hand down, coming back through your table. Come into a child's pose. Sit the hips all the way back this time. And take your knees wide apart so that you can allow your chest to drop down between your legs. Reaching for the top of your mat or the back of your mat, whichever way you're facing. Try to just soften into this, maybe roll your forehead on the ground. Come back to the breath. Take one more breath here. Exhale. And then staying low, just slither yourself all the way out onto your belly. You can bring your hands by your upper rib cage and then keeping your elbows tucked in, press your feet into the earth, ground into your pelvis, come into a cobra pose, lifting the chest, rolling the shoulders back, keeping the neck long. Take a breath in. And then exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, come into cobra, lifting the chest. Soften the face. And then exhale to lower. And we'll do that one more time, lifting. And lower down. Bring your hands by your face and your elbows under your shoulders. So this time we'll set up for a sphinx pose, pressing into the palms of the hands and the forearms as you lift yourself off of the mat, pulling your heart forward. Good, so find that length again from your tailbone all the way through the top of your head. Soften the face and find some traction under your hands as if you were gonna drag yourself forward on your mat. Take another breath in, lift through the top of the head, and then exhale, lower down. And once more, we'll come into Sphinx Pose, lifting. Good, and then walking the hands out in front of you, straighten your arms, coming into Seal Pose. So this time, feeling your low belly peeling away from the earth, soften your shoulders. Soften your glutes. And just breathe in. 
and out. Walk your hands in for a deeper back bend. So take that at your own pace, just observing how your body responds. Again, you can bring the hands in just a half an inch at a time, recognizing where you just need to stop and breathe and be with what is. One more breath. And then lower down. You can bring your arms out by your sides. And then just windshield wiper your legs. Rocking the hips side to side. And then extend the legs long. Bring your hands by your face. Press up into table. Good. And then cross your ankles behind you as you extend your legs out, coming onto your seat. Take your arms up overhead, stretching up, and then soften the shoulders down. Flex your feet towards you, so maybe the heels lifting off the earth. And then with an exhale, as you hollow out the belly, take that forward fold over your legs. Keep the breath moving, allow for the breath to soften. Notice if there's any resistance, any tension you're holding on to, and see if just by being present, really paying attention to where you're feeling that and guiding your breath there, which means staying present with your breath. See if you can find some release, some softening. Make your way back up to a seat. And then take your left foot inside your right thigh. Sit up nice and tall. So again, using your fingers on the earth to find that length through the spine. Stretch the arms up over your head and then square your chest towards your right toes. Breathe in. And then exhale, fold over your right thigh. melting into the fold. For a little more, you can take this left hand and reach it on the outside of your right foot, just giving you a little more stretch through that side body. One more breath here. Exhale. Good, come back up. And then we'll just switch, extend the left leg, take the right foot in. And press through the ball mound of that foot, really lengthen through that leg, and then stretch the arms up overhead. So we always want to go for that length before we take it into the fold. So as you exhale, come down over your left leg, and then just explore. So be here for a moment, and then if you decide you want a little more sensation, you can start to take that right hand and reach for the outside of that foot. And we'll come back up to our seat. And then just bring both feet together, soles of the feet together, knees open wide. You can give yourself a little assist, just pressing down on the inner thighs. Grab your ankles or your calves, and then pulling your elbows in towards your torso again to inspire that length through the spine. So you pull the elbows in to lift up. And then with an exhale, just take a forward fold, hinging the hips forward taking that length forward. And then once you get there, you can release the hands, maybe take them out wide, or maybe out in front of you. Good. 
Take one more breath in. Exhale. Start to walk your hands back in. And then bring your knees together as you lie down onto your back. We'll set up for a gentle bridge pose here. So step your feet so your ankles are under your knees and then extend your arms by your sides. And then with an inhale, pressing into the soles of your feet, lift the hips up towards the sky, maybe walking the shoulders in a little bit. And then just connect with your breath here as you inhale, feeling the belly expand, maybe taking this in phases as you press more firmly into the feet, lifting the hips up. Exhale completely. Inhale, fill up. Find a little more lift. And then as you exhale, lower your hips down. Step your feet wide, let the knees drop into touch. Right back where we started. And again, we'll take the soles of the feet together. Let the knees open wide. And then take the arms up overhead. Take that, that stretch through the upper body or just take opposite elbows. One more breath here. Exhale. Hug your knees together and pull them into your chest, finding that rock side to side again. Pressing the low back down. And then as you're rocking here, just drop both knees over to the right as you extend your left arm out. Try to soften your left shoulder down. You can keep the knees stacked or you can take another variation of the twist if you prefer. Use that right hand for a little assist. And breathe deeply into the low belly. Good, come back to center, hugging the knees in. Again, finding a little rock side to side. And then as you feel ready to, just drop both knees over to the left, extending through that right arm, looking over your right shoulder. And then just, again, bringing your awareness to the places that you can soften, noticing any resistance, any tension. One more inhale. And as you exhale, bringing the knees back to center. Come into a happy baby. So bring the soles of the feet right up to the sky as you reach for the outer edges of your feet. And then you want to soften the upper body down, soften the tail. And then you can find a little rock again, side to side. You can use your hands, the strength of your arms to Pull down on the soles of your feet, getting a little deeper into the hips. Good. And then you can release the feet, send the legs long, feet right up to the sky for a waterfall. You can bring your hands underneath your low back for support. Feel your back body really pressing into the earth with each breath. Notice your heartbeat. Good. 
You can stay here for a few breaths longer. But as you're ready, just start to lower yourself down onto your mat, making our way into Shavasana. So if there's any last movements or shapes or stretches that you would like to finish your practice, feel free to take that now. And then once you feel complete, allow yourself to just extend everything out, giving your weight to the earth. So let your shoulders roll back, let the feet flop open. Take another big breath in. Sigh it out, feel the body melting. Back body pressing, pelvis, the backs of your legs, everything just becoming heavy and supported by the ground beneath you. And you can stay in the Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Truly really give yourself some time though to allow that practice to settle, allow the feeling of connecting with your breath, to be something that you can come back to, remembering that the breath is always available, it's always with you, and it's just about remembering to use it to face life's circumstances. Thank you for practicing with us. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.